Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for the 3rd of May. I did miss yesterday. I'm sorry, I just was unable to do the reading. So yeah, Pluto is stationed to go retrograde today. You may have noticed a shift in the energy. Very, very intense. So, and we are coming up to the full moon in Scorpio on the 5th, which is going to be a lunar eclipse. So we'll be feeling this energy and we're going to need strength and courage moving into this energy coming in a bit of bravery, resilience. So Pluto, as you know, is the planet of the underworld, the planet of birth, death, transformation, intense energy. So definitely could be a shift there's potentially um, some kind of battle or conflict that is coming up with the Five of Wands. This feels kind of deep down, this energy, to be honest, um, something that you're feeling conflicted about. Let's see what else is coming through for the third. And I am seeing like the energy being a little bit more challenging leading up to this full moon and then the release when we step into it, things can flow afterwards, but it's just before it is a little bit more challenging uh, so there's a struggle to kind of get what you want um, and to move forward with growth and to step into the new paths and the Knight of Swords. But there's still this sense of determination with that Knight of Swords coming in. So very determined, fast moving energy that's coming through. Like I said, I just feel a little bit like there's some kind of internal battle or struggle with that strength card. This can be battling even your own ego, ego coming in with that. But it's like the Ace of Wands is like, I'm trying to activate or start something new or get really motivated. <laughs> or I don't know about you, but I am finding it so hard to concentrate this week. I just can't focus. Um, but I mean, the Knight of Swords is determined to kind of make things happen and make things happen quickly, but it doesn't seem like that's happening here. With the Seven of Pentacles, it's like somebody, you know, taking a, their time to think about, you know, how I can step into what it is that I want and how I can move into the new paths and what's the best, you know, use of my time, effort, energy and money to kind of get what I want. So the Knight of Swords is really impatient, like I want this to all happen quickly, but the Seven of Pentacles is um, having the patience to gain a new perspective. And so it may be that things are taking longer than you think or that um, there's delays around things um, that there's even, like I said, struggle to kind of move forward or to get motivated, even though the energy is there. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting because um, I feel like it's got a lot to do with the timing of something at this moment in time. And it's kind of pushing against something when it's not ready or the opportunity just isn't there at this moment in time is going to cause the this, this struggle. So it is almost like yeah, the Ace of Wands is is like um, yeah. I I just think it's. I mean, it, the fact it's next to the the struggle, what to struggle to get what it is that you want, and it's slower moving energy than what you think uh, about activating and starting. It's kind of like I said, it's going to require some resilience. There's something that's in the pipeline, an idea or something that you're really wanting that um, is going to require either overcoming some struggles or battles to get there or it's there's challenges around it to do with the timing. So, yeah, it's this could be frustrating energy, I have to say, uh, it feels like we're going into interesting, like I said, I think the next couple of days is sort of some turbulent weather and then when we get to that full moon energy, it might um, kind of become a lot calmer. <laughs> Things can sort of flow and shift and change. But leading up to it, I think that, um, yeah, this is where things could even escalate really quickly. And it could be like suddenly without even knowing it, you're having a fight with somebody and you didn't even know that you were angry, but perhaps that was, it just came out of nowhere or perhaps it was you realising it was there all along, this sort of underlying tension. But it it just feels like there's um, a, a degree of frustration, impatience and, yeah, it's 
She was like you're kind of pushing against the tide a little bit. So just to understand that that's kind of the the slow moving energy. It's like, do I have to go back over some old things? I don't really want to um, over some old ground, some old things I'm struggling with. It might be a lot of that that's coming through as well. It's just potentially could be feeling quite intense and challenging and even funky, but that doesn't mean it's all bad. That's the thing. Um, The Ace of Wands is still, and the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Wands is still saying things are still moving forward. They're just moving forward slowly. (laughs) So, and it is potentially like positive growth that's coming in here. It's just, there's also probably a whole heap of other kind of peripheral energies around it. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting to see where this goes leading up to the eclipse. Um, This is the last south node eclipse in Scorpio that we're going to be experiencing through this cycle of the south node. It's an 18-month cycle of the south node in Scorpio. So this can be the ending, the finality, the kind of final tension before something really is let go of. And so that might be the south node is represented by letting go, surrendering, release of old karma so there definitely could be that kind of thing it could notice that people are a little bit more out of sorts perhaps so there could be a little bit of conflict and more conflict and tension around but it just feels like almost like the energy is feeling tighter and there's some sort of a squeeze on where it sort of feels like okay this is the final release the lead up to it so yeah that's the energy for the third of may Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thanks so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments and, yeah, please take care.